Kids occupied this summer. How about theater camp? My daughter loved theater camp at Playhouse in the Park. And this year, it's taking its summer programs out into the community. Danielle Rasmussen is Director of Artistic Engagement for the Playhouse. So many exciting things going on, Danielle. Good to see you. So good to see you. So let's start with just a few of the camps um, before we talk about the, the wider view of what's going on at the Playhouse. You, you have some one-week camps. Who are those offered to and, and what's being offered? So our one-week camps are really geared for kids coming into the first First grade through the 10th grade. They are Monday through Friday from 9 to 4 30 and we have different themes that happen every week in each of our locations. The exciting thing for us this year is that we are trying to be out in the neighborhood near you. Right. So we have locations in Mason, Evendale, Wyoming and downtown at the School of Creative and Performing Arts. That's really exciting for people who might not be able to make it up to Mount Adams. Now you also have um, your, your performance academy programs. Is this a little bit more advanced? Yeah, well the goal of the Performance Academy is to give you the experience of putting together a show from start to finish and getting a more uh, larger scale production. So those are two to three weeks long and they are in multiple locations as well. So we're doing Willy Wonka Kids, which is a two week program. My son Fine. is really excited to oh, do yeah. Willy Wonka Kids. And then we have Lion King Junior, which is three weeks at our downtown location. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Now let's talk about why you are taking the camps out to the Tri-State because there's something really special happening up on the hill in Mount Adams. There is something exciting <laughs> happening on the hill. We are entering the final phase of construction for our new building, Mo and Jack's Place, the Rouse Theater. So over this summer, we will not be on the hill. So right. our summer camps are completely remote this year, but it's been a really important thing for us in general to get out into the community because we are Cincinnati's Playhouse. So over the last five years, we've slowly been working our way out into the community for satellite locations because we don't want distance and geography to keep anyone from participating in our summer camps. Well, we're looking at that video from the Playhouse Facebook page that shows what it's going to be like when it's all finished up. But And once it is, what new things will you be able to do to bring to the community when that is done and you have that new space? We are so excited to make our space more accessible for smaller cultural and arts organizations mm -hmm. and individual artists. We have some exciting programs that we'll be announcing soon about how we as Cincinnati's premier regional theater are going to make it possible for other small companies and artists to be able to grow and to expand their programming as well. Oh, wow, yeah. that is exciting. Yeah. And in the meantime, now we have one show left up there, uh, School Girls. We do, School This Girls. weekend, mm -hmm. that'll be the last one. But then the Playhouse is not going to stop. You're still going to be bringing us production. So tell me we, about that. We are. We are. We are coming into the community next year. That's our theme is we are Cincinnati's regional theater. Yeah. And so we are performing in the fall. We have three productions that are going to be at three different theaters. We're going to be at the Carnegie. We're going to be at the Jarson Kaplan at the Aronoff. And we're going to be at the Incline Theater in the fall. And then two of our off the grid program uh, productions, which is our immersive site specific right. work. We're going to be at uh, the Burger Farm and Garden Center again in the fall oh, to neat. do Children of the Corn Maze 2. And we're going to be doing Mr. and Mrs. Fezziwig's holiday party at the Phoenix. Oh, fun. That sounds amazing. I, sign me up for that one. I love Christmas Carol. It's going to be Carol. so fun. Okay. <laughs> Danielle, thank you so much. That was so much stuff. And you can find it all uh, on the Playhouse website or Facebook page. We'll put it on ours, too. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. All right. We have uh, another big announcement coming up. Announcements from Hollywood. The latest movies.